Hey guys, we're gonna go over G1 Megatron real quick. Uh, we're also gonna go over his abilities, even though we are, we already kind of know what he does. We went over his bot intel report. We're gonna go over it again. Um, it'll be short, I guess. Uh, let's start with his bio, of course. Uh, once a renowned gladiator in pre-Civil War Cybertron, Megatron used his charisma and brutality to fuel the Decepticon uprising. Megatron's ultimate goal is to rule rule over all living beings, only his sworn enemies Optimus Prime and the Autobots stand between him and his goal of supreme authority. So he's a Decepticon, transforms into a tank. Uh, have, I have him only at rank 3 right now, level 30. Um, he's got a little bit over 3000 health, almost 300 attack, forge level 0. He synergizes really well with um, OG Optimus Prime, they get that attack rating. And in order for this... Um, ability uh, to activate with Soundwave, all Decepticons gain the plus 5% attack rating against Autobots. That only activates if you have Soundwave with you. Um, and then Lieutenants, this one, Megatron gains new abilities and his Lieutenants gain 3% armor and 3% attack. Um, that one's also pretty good. Uh, his signature, No Mercy, let's see, let's click on it. Um, as long as the opponent has a fused debuff, Megatron's melee attacks have a 20% chance to steal a buff from the opponent for 5 seconds. 5 seconds isn't too much. I played with Megatron a little bit in the arena, and I had it activate once. Um, I think I stole a melee buff from, or one of the attack buffs from an OG Prime. I only actually got good use out of it for like, probably like, 2 hits, and then that was it, it went away. Um, but I mean, it's fine, you know. You take away the buff from them, so it's good. Uh, his abilities, he's got the Fusion Cannon, on Armor Break, and an Attack Debuff. So the Fusion Cannon takes 6 seconds to charge, 3 full power heavy attacks that each travel significantly faster and deal 25% more damage. Uh, so after the first 6 seconds, you get those 3 charges, and every heavy attack that you that you actually, that you use, uh, consumes one of the, uh, the heavies, or one of the charged Fusion Cannon shots. And then once you're down to zero, it takes six seconds again to recharge. And the full uh, power heavy attacks permanently fuse a debuff inflicted by Megatron's special attacks to the opponent. Only one debuff uh, of each type can be fused. And on the last hit of a medium combo, he has a 100% chance to refresh the duration of unfused armor breaks, attack debuffs, and shocks on the opponent. Um... So yeah, it's actually pretty good. If you aren't able to get off like a cannon shot and you're able to do like a medium combo, um, this has a chance at refreshing it and in hopes that you get your full power heavy attacks uh, recharged and you can fuse the debuff. Uh, when he's knocked down, he has a 0.6% chance for each percentage of loss health to become unstoppable for 2.5 seconds. His special attack 1 has a 100% chance to armor break. Applies a 34% armor reduction for 10 seconds. His special 2 has a 100% chance to decrease um, attack by 40% for 10 seconds. I think that was like really good. And finally, his special attack 3 has a 100% chance to inflict shock, dealing shock damage for 300% attack over 20 seconds. I think I read it as like 200% um, yesterday, but of course, you know, it increases as you rank him up, so can only imagine like how much damage the shock from like a rank 5 4 star Megatron can do. Uh, and as well on his special attack 3 he grants uh, fusion overload allowing unlimited full power shots of the fusion cannon for the rest of the fight. I think that special 3 is like really good for those extended fights as well as like using them like in ROK or in alliance missions. That's like a major major one. Um, kind of like OG Prime, uh, on those long extended fights, you always want to use your special 3 to apply that permanent armor break. And if he's dupe, you know, you get all those bleeds off. Uh, so similar to Megatron, you can use your special 3, get that uh, fusion cannon overload, and then just apply um, a debuff of each from each of his specials, and you got yourself a super weak opponent. And that shock damage, man. I was so happy to see that it applied like a permanent shock. That was freaking awesome. It's pretty strong, so kind of makes me wish I had like a a rank f or not a rank five, a four star a G1 Megatron. And if I could dupe him, that'd be awesome. Uh, but we probably won't be able to dupe him. 
But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into a fight real quick. Um, just go into the expert mode, and we'll run down the middle path. I think that's like the easiest path. Hopefully we don't get uh, wrecked. That would definitely suck. So let's go ahead and throw on... <clears throat> where is he? God, he's so far down the list. Okay, so we got Megatron in there. Um, okay, so he synergizes with Soundwave. We won't be able to pick our four-star OG Prime. He's currently stuck in the Alliance missions. And let's see who else. Starscream and Shockwave. Where's Shockwave? There he is. Okay. So his incoming, um, he's got the all Decepticons, have the attack buff. Uh, Megatron special attacks have a 70% chance to stun the opponent for 3.5 seconds. It only triggers once for each special attack. And the, of course the stun cannot be fused. And with Shockwave, he has the last hit of his medium combo has a 25% chance to inflict a power rate debuff. Reducing the opponent's power rate by 30% for 10 seconds. Pretty good synergies there with Shockwave and Starscream. And of course with Soundwave for that... Uh, to all is ours. Let's go ahead and jump in here. Shockwave taking up the screen. Who does he think he is? <clears throat> Alright, so let's go ahead and fight the Sharkticon. We'll go over all of his specials. Special 1, Special 2, Special 3. Special 3 looks pretty awesome. Um, you'll see it in a little bit. <clears throat> Alright guys, I have no idea why, but the fight never loaded and just stayed there for like a good minute. So I restarted the game and I got kicked out of my path for some reason. So I guess my energy that I used is gone for some reason? I don't know. But anyways, let's start the fight against the Sharkticon. Um, I was going to say, so at the start of this fight, you guys are probably going to notice that I'm going to start charging up those fusion cannon shots. And every time I use one, one of them's going to get deducted. And then once I hit zero, it's going to start uh, refreshing over again. We're going to use Megatron's special one and hopefully his special two. Oh, there's the, uh, the power uh, the power reduction synergy from uh, Shockwave. And as you can see, that one, we're able to fuse that one. Oh, the lag is crazy. There's a special one with the stun, thanks to, uh, what's his name, Starscream's synergy. And honestly, if you synergize, or if you time these, like, really well, and if you have enough, like, from your cannon shot, you can probably, um, immediately fuse a debuff. Let's see if we can pull it off here. There's a special two. He stunned long enough for us to use a heavy and instantly fuse the uh, the debuff which is really nice so I think those synergies are like really good with this Megatron I like his special one it was like a, a two hit one with his flail and then his special two reminds me a lot of Galvatron's um, he charges up his gun and then he just blasts you right in the face and we're gonna use our special three against our favorite bot Mixmaster Hopefully he doesn't wreck us. We got that class disadvantage, but his special three is pretty awesome. Um, you'll see it in a little bit. <laughs> Just totally unloads on the opponent. Alright, come on, Megatron. Don't get wrecked by our most hated bot in the game. Alright, he's got a special too, gotta be careful. Alright, there we go. He fused the debuff. And here it is, guys. That is so freaking awesome, man. That special 3 is super cool. 
God, this mix master relentless assault and as you can see there guys there's the shock debuff permanently applied and we stunned him with um, our special one and we were able to also fuse together that uh, that armor break so right now he's got the power reduction uh, reduces the power or temporary temporarily reduced uh, flow of power uh, he's got the shock debuff as well as the armor break and at this point all you basically need is just the special two uh, for the extended fights um, other than that I mean these fights you can probably end pretty quickly but overall G1 Megatron I feel like these debuffs really make him like a really strong uh, tactician honestly I'd put him up there right next to OG Prime so if you have if you don't have a tactician yet I highly highly suggest you guys go for him it's really good let's see which way should we go Go the mod path and get wrecked. What is the, what is the mod on this uh, this guy? Crit rate increased. Let's skip that because we're gonna have to heavy uh, barricade. I know we'll we'll eat a couple ranged attacks from him. They'll definitely hurt. <clears throat> Let's see how far we can make it with G1 Megatron. We'll just keep um, saving up for all of his specials all over again. Ooh, the Shark Decon. He's got the uh, the resistances. Oops, we got hit there pretty hard. Let's go ahead and use our special one, and we'll secure the debuff thanks to the Star Scream synergy. Let's see if we can use a special two here. Spamming those heavies, guys. He's so much better than Galvatron, in my opinion. Megatron wins. Alright, what's next? What do we got? Got a cutscene. Let's go ahead and skip that. And we'll go this path against the drift since I haven't gone through this path yet. Activates a repair buff when not struck by a melee attack for. Okay. I'm wondering if we fuse a debuff, if we can steal that. Um, that repair. If we have a chance to. If he doesn't kill us. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hopefully we can kill this drift. He's healing already, so we kind of failed at that already. <laughs> Maybe using a three-star character against these mods isn't such a good idea. But let's go ahead and start applying some of these debuffs. Oops, I didn't use that one. There we go. I got pretty lucky there. Honestly, guys, I don't think we're going to kill this drift. <laughs> He's going to probably wreck, wreck us right now. Oh, there he is. He's going to start repairing. Let's definitely try to save up for a special three here. I'm pretty scared. Pretty passive. Alright. Alright. Thank God our special three keeps refreshing that... Uh, Oh, we're done for. Oh, look at that. We got the we got the buff steal. There we go. We did it. Oh, and we're dead. <laughs> that didn't take long. That stupid mod man. It sucks. We could have probably killed him, but I don't know. I just started playing really stupid at the end. Got too excited. It's probably what it was. 
Um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, overall, G1 Megatron, super, super strong character in my opinion. I think he's definitely one of the top tacticians now. And paired with those synergies, it just allows him to definitely secure those debuffs as well as apply an extra one thanks to Shockwave, that power flow reduction. So overall, um, highly suggest you guys go for him. Definitely get him from the store. And if you guys have the Energon, I would honestly suggest spending some Energon on his Megatron Crystals and see if you guys can pull another 4-star, hopefully dupe him. Signature ability, I don't think it's needed. Um, it definitely helps. As you guys saw, we were able to steal that repair mod um, or that repair buff from the Drift, but he killed us right away. Uh, but I can see it being pretty useful um, with like the repairs, the attacks, even the armor ones would be pretty good. Uh, but yeah guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please share with me your thoughts on this Megatron. Do you guys think he's like better than OG Prime? Do you guys think he's right up there at top tier tactician? I definitely think so. Um, not better than OG Prime, but definitely up there. Uh, top tactician for sure. Uh, so yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.